Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, my name is Ivy, and I decided to go out with my friend for a hot pot. I want to take my friend here because the restaurant offers a special lunch combo. She agreed to go there, and we decided to take transit to a place called Boiling Point. They have three locations, and we have decided to go to the Burnaby location because it was convenient for both of us with the travel distance from her being off from school. Here we have the main entrance and let's take a look inside. When we first entered, they had a poster that mentioned their waiting list rules. If all tables were taken, there is a machine where you will need to enter your phone number to wait for a table. Once you have received a text message, there will be a table ready for your entire party, but they must be present before the seating. If you did not respond to their text message or three calls after they had a table ready for you, you will be automatically removed from the waitlist. If you didn't report back within 10 minutes after removal, you would be seated at the next table. If you decide to report back after 10 minutes, you will have to re-sign in the waiting system. When coming in with a group of people, make sure that the numbers you have entered in the system are correct because once they have a table ready for you, you are not able to request additional people to the table. After going through their waiting list rules, there was a machine right in front of us to enter how many people we needed for a table. Since there were tables available, we didn't need to register for the waiting list. This is the interior of Boiling Point in the Burnaby location. They had this pool engraved with Chinese characters which I can't read. On the right wall, there were cartoon graphic designs as their wallpaper. The seats on the right walls had some cushions and metal chairs facing the outside. The rest were just regular tables and metal chairs. This space was small and cozy where you could spend time with friends or family. Once we were seated, they provided us with a basket to put our items in. I had no items that were needed to put in the basket, but my friend came straight from school, so she put her tote bag in there. To look at the menu, there was a QR code that was attached to the table. I believe they offer free Wi-Fi to access it, but I decided to use my data because it was faster. If you can't access the menu on your own device, there are pictures on their wall to look at and order. Now let's take a look at their website. When I entered the webpage, the first thing that popped up was their hot deals. They advertised their QQ jellies which were on promotion. The flavor was lemon. If you buy 4 packs, you will get one free. The second one was that if you don't want to dine in, they offer a takeout menu where you can place and pay for your order online. The third one was a rewards program. If you like to register for every dollar you spend, you will earn one point. Once you reach 150 points, you will receive a $10 voucher for the next visit. The rewards program can be found in the Apple App Store or Google Play for Android users. If you're looking for gift cards to give to someone on a special occasion or just because you want to, it is available to purchase in store or online. That's all they have for hot deals. Now we are moving on to the new products they offer. They have a variety of flavors for the QQ jellies. The signature flavor was lemon, but they had released new flavors which were plum, passion fruit, and dragon fruit. If you are looking for refreshing snacks, these snacks may be worth a try. Finally, I will be moving on to the menu. Currently, they are offering a promotion for students starting from September 6, 2023 to September 22, 2023. When bringing a valid student ID, you can receive one free hot soup add-on. If you are a student, this is one promotion you may not want to miss and is valid for dine-in only.
I am now scrolling down to the main menu and the offer selected dishes. Each person can order their hot pot or share if you wish. The first item on the menu is their house special that has pork and other vegetables. The second item on the menu is seafood and tofu which contains pork, seafood and vegetables. The third item on the menu is Korean bean paste which contains instant noodles, pork and vegetables. The fourth item is called beef which has beef and vegetables. The fifth one is called lamb which has lamb, pork blood and vegetables. The sixth item is called milk cream curry which has a creamy broth, sliced pork and vegetables. The seventh item is for those who are vegetarians and it's called the mushroom veggie which is all vegetable based. If you are looking to share with someone or would like a large portion, there are a few options to choose from. The eighth item on the menu is called Taiwanese spicy. It has a very spicy broth beef, seafood, and vegetables. The ninth item is called miso, which contains udon, sliced pork, seafood, and vegetables. The tenth item on the menu is Thai tomato, which has tomato broth, sliced pork, seafood, vegetables, and drizzled with coconut milk. There are additional side dishes if you want to order extra. They offer spicy fermented tofu, spices cumin lamb, spicy tangy beef, holy cow, garlic pork belly, steamed veggies, scallion gravy rice. If you want to add more items to your hot pot, some items are extra charged. Last but not least, we have the beverages such as sweet milk, juice, tea, hot drinks, soda, and milk tea. If you want to add toppings, they do charge extra. The boba costs 95 cents, or if you're interested in pudding, hand tea and jelly, lychee jelly, or herbal jelly, it's 75 cents each. For lunch starting at 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., they have complimentary drinks. The drinks came out, so there were two options you could choose from, which were green tea or black tea. The drink my friend ordered was the green tea, while I ordered the black tea. On the side of the table, they have a sauce section that you can DIY and dip your items from your hot pot. The sauces were garlic bean paste, garlic soy sauce, garlic chili sauce, and chili plum powder. The individual hot pots came out and we decided to each get the same item on the menu called the Korean Bean Paste Hot Soup. The lunch price is $18.03 and if you decide to go after 3pm, the dinner price is $19.03. Here we have my black tea and a complimentary side dish which was vermicelli. My friend didn't want a side dish because she was partially full. She was able to make room in her stomach for just the hot pot. Here is her order which is the same hot pot as mine which was Korean bean paste hot soup but her drink was green tea. The individual hot pot cooks underneath the wax candle and it is lit up with a hand lighter by one of the staff members. Before giving this a try, I teared up the paper wrapper from the straw. The entire straw was made out of paper so I was having a hard time poking the plastic lid. Eventually, I was able to poke it in and then gave it a try. I liked the taste because it was bitter and sweet. It's time to give this hot pot a try. They had already cooked the pot and they lit up the wax candle just to keep it hot. If you order any type of noodles, it will do its job by cooking it in the pot. I'm going to grab the empty bowl and place the items inside so it would be easily eaten. This hot pot was mildly spicy and had instant noodles so I placed it in my bowl. I had sliced pork, fish cake, vegetables and many more. Everything was hot, so I had to blow it to cool down. I had my first bite of the fish cake and it tasted chewy. 
I have moved on to the sliced pork and it tasted tender. I like how the sliced pork is soaked into the broth, giving a nice taste. These items all tasted great with the combination of instant noodles. We both had a great time clinking our drinks to celebrate our friendship reunion. Before, the hot pot was filled with items, so it was hard for me to cook the vermicelli. Once it was almost empty, I was ready to cook my vermicelli and finish the rest of the items. After eating, this was a bill. This restaurant doesn't offer split bills, so you will have one person paying for the rest of the bill. The total cost for both of us was $37.86. This was not bad of a price, and we had a fun time enjoying the food and conversations together. After payment, they gave us jellies, and this is the flavor lemon. If you are interested in giving Boiling Point a try, they have three locations in British Columbia, which are Vancouver, Burnaby, and Richmond. The location I went to was located in Burnaby, and the address is 5276 Kingsway, BC. If you are looking for a unique and affordable hot pot experience, I would recommend going to one of these locations to give it a try. This is not the end of our day, so we had to make our last trip to a place. There is a mall called Metrotown located in Burnaby. We had to stop at one of the recent openings for a photo booth studio. This photo booth studio is called Photochrome. Let's take a look inside. Photochrome was developed in Korea and delivers a premium and captivating experience for people. They offer different accessories that you can choose to take in the photo booth. Here they have cute stuffed animals, sunglasses, and headbands. If you like flowers, they have these cartoon flowers that you can pose with too. Here, my friend had her accessories ready to enter the photo booth. We wanted to have a Sanrio theme because who doesn't like the Sanrio collection? Also, the cinnamon roll headband matched my top, so we went along with it. Next shows what we pose in the photo booth. After our photo session, we were able to choose our favorite poses, so these were the six images we chose. For two photos, it cost $10, which was a decent price that offers a fun experience. That's the end of my video. Thank you so much to those who have subscribed to this channel. If you are new here and are interested in more content, please like and subscribe. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.